with that performance yes, last night, I think he joined the elite. Guys, because when you say elite, has he won a Super Bowl yet? No, like none of that stuff, right? But when you say elite, you must take a lot of things into consideration. What's the guy's trajectory? Is he likely to continue this? Is this fluky? Is it because of what he has around him or is it because of his play? I have to say, Josh Allen entered the league as a 22-year-old quarterback. I thought he was drafted too high. I could see he had a big arm, but I was suspicious of his ability to play the position. By the way, I was suspicious of Trubisky. I was suspicious of Lamar Jackson. And, and some of them have proven me wrong to one degree or another, right? But what I saw with Josh Allen was just a big arm. He had something like 10 touchdowns. I was trying to uh, uh, refer to my notes right as you came to me, Molly. Something like 10 touchdowns and 12 interceptions. It was more interceptions than touchdowns or something close to it mm -hmm. as a rookie quarterback. But you're 22 years old. You know, I, I get it. Then last year, he was better. His completion percentage jumps like 10 points. He's going like from 50 to like 60%, right? Something like that. And his touchdown to interception ratio is nice. And he looks like a solid ascending middle of the pack quarterback. And then this year, yeah, he's had some ups and downs along the way, but the man's completing like 70% of his passes. He's among active quarterbacks. Remember, Dak hasn't played in forever. He's top five QBR. His touchdown interception ratio has improved again. You can see that it's up on the screen, the, the passing yards, the touchdowns, the whole thing. Because that QBR, take Dak Prescott out, right? He's barely played. It's top five, in fact. Yeah, given his age, now 24, who would you take over him in the AFC? I got two guys. I'll take Patrick Mahomes over anyone ever. I'll take Deshaun Watson, especially the way he's been playing recently. If you're the third best quarterback in your conference and you're ascending and continually getting better, 24 years old, coming off your best career performance, I have to say you're elite. Josh Allen's an elite quarterback. I like, I like Josh Allen a lot. I'm very, very fond of him. Um, and I think he has tremendous promise. I'm not willing to give him that yet. I will acknowledge that he's thrown for over, three, over, three, over 300 yards uh, on six times this season. Two of those times, Max Kellerman, he's thrown for over 400 yards. Do you know who those 400-yard games were against? Miami and Seattle. Mm. So I can't ignore what we're seeing from Josh Allen. But it, with that being said, you know me. It's about what you do when it counts. And I watched him in the playoffs last year against Houston. Yeah, he, he, just, he completed about 52% of his passes. Didn't throw an interception, but didn't throw a touchdown either. I want to see what happens when time calls for you to show up and produce. It's nice for you to see what you're doing as a front runner in the AFC East, doing what you've been doing, buffered by that defense and the, and, and the coaching uh, that you're receiving as well because I think they're doing a hell of a job. And it doesn't, it doesn't uh, fall on deaf ears that you went from completing 58% of your passes last year to 69% of them this year. That's coaching. That's the kind of stuff that you need to see. And so I'm impressed with it. I just need you to I just need to see you do it when it counts. Let's see what you do when you go up against New England. All right, because you got another meeting with them coming up this year. Let's see what you do when you go up against Miami again. Let's see what happens come playoff time. Those are the three occasions that I'm looking for and and until then the jury is still out. He's good. I like him. He deserves to be the starting quarterback for the Bills with tremendous promise. No question. But in terms of calling him elite, I'm going to hold out judgment for that. I want to see I want to see it first. Well, I want to see more evidence. If you, if, you, if you ask me, did he prove he's an elite quarterback, then I would have to agree with you. If it was, did he prove it? Because I would like to wait, wait for the playoffs too. But that's not what I'm saying here. I'm saying right now, you're asking me point blank, do I think right now, not if I can prove it or not, he's elite. My answer is yes. If I can say yes or no, my answer is yes. Stephen A., if you go as a 22-year-old, your touchdown interception ratio is one-to-one, -one, you have a losing record. As a 23-year-old, it's like, um, this is generalization, you know, generalizing, like rounding numbers, but 50% completion, one-to-one -to -one touchdown interception, losing ratio, uh, you know, losing record, you're 22. At 23, you're 60% completion, you're two-to-one touchdown to interception, and you win 10 games. Year three, you're now 24. You're three to one touchdown to interception. You're going to win your division, it looks like. You're coming off your career best performance. You have a top five QBR and you're completing 70% of your passes. When I look around the conference, I'd only take two guys above you. No, he hasn't won in the playoffs. Like, he hasn't proven it, Stephen A.
But do I think he's elite right now? Yes. If only take two guys over you in your conference, yes. And if I asked you, who would you take over him? I'll bet you the answer. If it's top three, if that makes you elite, I'll bet you your answer is yes, too. Well, my only retort to you would be, Max Kellerman, is that you once said that about Carson Wentz. Well, it was true when I said it about him. Exactly. And then it's not true now, is it? You certainly wouldn't call him elite now, would you? No, nah, man. He had his moment. He had his moment. It's and the kind of and like... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The difference between me and you is that you're talking about in the moment, which I respect, because you, 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 you illuminated that point. I appreciate that. What I'm saying to you is that once I get to that point with you, I ain't trying to go back. You understand what I'm saying? In other words, I want to see it. I want to see it to believe it. And to me, you doing things during the regular season, it's nice. It's good. It seems like you're treading in that direction. But show me... Show me a game against the 49ers, even without Jimmy Garoppolo and George Kittle last night. Doesn't exactly tickle my fancy, Max Kellerman. I need to see more. And all I'm saying is I'm going to watch this well, guy. I believe in him. I believe in him like you do. But my point is I still want to see it. I still want to see him do it before I'm even interested in having a conversation about the word elite associated with this young quarterback. I just want to see it. That's all I'm saying. Like, you know, Steve, like Stephen's A list, it's in flux, Stephen A. These things are in <laughs> flux. And what you're saying is once you're elite, <laughs> once you're elite, you, you, have to be, you have to prove it and you got to stay there, right? Well, I'll, I'll say this. My whole point about trajectory is he's so clearly doing it. 50, 60, 70, right. you know, one right. to one, two to one, three to one. Like, you can see it, you know, losing, winning, playoffs. I'm just you trying to help you out, bro. So, like, I'm, just yes. you. I'm, I'm just trying to be there for you. I'm just trying to be there for you. I'm just trying to be there for you. I hear you. I'm, I'm trying to help you. I appreciate that. that. Oops moment. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.